All right, boys, we are back at the Nightmare Can Bus Ambulance. If you remember this one, guys, if you haven't seen it, go back and look at the other two parts. But basically, where we left off at, uh, they didn't want to continue, but got to take the medicine, man. Anyway, uh, we left off at, we did a test from the bus, uh, the connector here, and we went through this connector, basically this path here, and we had connectivity, but it's getting lost from here back to the gateway so we need to remove the dash to be able to find out where what issue we got going on and make sure we get a link to the gateway because from up there we do not have a connection to the gateway but we have tested it from here to here and it is good so i'm going to start pulling apart the dash looks like we got a bunch of seven and eight millimeter screws on this dashboard guys so we're going to pull that out and continue on this job All right, guys, I am tapped in to where we worked off the last time, the gray and, what is it, gray and blue. And um, I went ahead and um, there's a connector down here. I'm going to show you. I reseated it. Now, when I come here, um, which is the gray and blue as well, that goes to the gateway. Oops, one second. We got a connection. So we do have a good connection now. From right there to the gateway. So now we're gonna test from the camera, which we should, of course, because we tested it the last time. So now we should have a, a good connection. All right. So now we're back up here at the gray and blue. And um, with our multimeter, we're gonna now test on the gray and blue here so we should have a connectivity going from the camera all the way down at that connector and then behind the dash to come to the gateway okay so we are connected to be mindful there are two gray and blue connect cables up there so if it's in the wrong one a second ago i gotta double check because it's been a while since i looked at this diagram um and check what the other one is for but with this one, I do have a connection. So we got a connection all the way, going from here, up there, and to the camera, which is good. Um, and this is where the network ends, at the steering column gateway. And uh, I'm sorry, steering column control module. And that is the blue and where is it? There it is. The blue and gray and the orange. So we're going to test there, which I already did. And there's no connection. So we've got a break in the network. So we got to find that. Okay. So nine and 10 go back to the gateway. And these two here, the brown with the orange and the blue and gray goes to another sensor somewhere in the grill of the front of the vehicle. All right. I am under the transit. Um, First thing I noticed, they got an oil leak. It's like a busted pan, oil pan. These pans are plastic. They make them now, which I think is ridiculous, but whatever. Um, so I'm trying to find the closest link to the uh, steering column control module to test to see where our brake is at. And the easiest one I can get to, um, the ABS module is somewhere up there, but it's kind of hard to get to from where I'm at. So I think the next easiest one that I can get to in the line is the stair, the uh, rack and pinion. And it's here. There's a cross member. And I believe this is going to be a connector right there. So I'm going to try... get that i believe it's gonna be there it is the orange and green and it looks like the gray and blue right there so i got to get to that gray and blue and hook up and see if we got our connection from here back to the gateway and that's going to tell us we're going to get closer to where the brake is at all right i am back probed to the uh gray and blue wire and down to my voltmeter and 
I have no signal. So that tells me um, we've got a break before the power steering control module, which leaves the RCM and the trailer brake control module, which is inside of um, the car in the center cons console. So we're going to have to head back there and that's going to be where our problem is because from here if you saw the screenshot it goes to the abs module and then back to the steering control um steering column control module that's where it ends so the brake is before the power steering rack and pinion which means it's inside the cabin somewhere in the middle so we're gonna have to disassemble now over there now the good question is boys how do i get to all of that as you can see we got a mess here man so it's either there's two of them it's going to be one somewhere probably here and maybe another one here and if you know they got this little ambulance control emergency module here so yeah all right guys i believe i found the rcm the airbag srs module and it's here i can't necessarily see it because i got this plate over it but i'm pretty sure i can feel the connectors i know how they feel and there's two connectors and I also believe I know where the network is um, one way always to identify can networks by the way guys they're usually twisted in their route and these two right here are twisted and they are our colors and they're taped together so that's a good indicator that um, let me show you that that is our target right there as you can see that's our colors green and orange and gray and blue so we're going to tap into that gray and blue and then see if that gray and blue will meet with this gray and blue here and that'll bring us one leg closer to finding out where the actual problem is all right here we are connected to the gateway and the blue and gray here and nothing so that's one more junction left before we find the problem guys it's going to be at the trailer brake control module and remember on the last video i think we saw the plug it's related i believe the trailer brake module is related to that connector right there so i'm about to dig a little bit and find out what's going on here but i believe this is the area where we're going to have the issue something disconnected or the, whatever the case might be yeah boys this is a mess man yeah so i had to pull this junk out man um had the guys pull all this stuff out and i just pulled off the cover that was right here in front of the shifter and i noticed this behind it is this an option i don't know but i do see something very interesting i see our green and orange and our blue and gray. So, is this one of our connectors that I'm looking for? Possibly the C311 or 211? Let's see. Um, let me pull some more stuff off and find out what's going on. So, I'm connected with my multimeter to the uh, the gray with the blue at the can, at the can gateway. By the way, he just gave me these Arabic sweets, man. Somebody leave it in the comments. Tell me what this is called, man. This is pretty good. Yeah, so I decided to test. And here we are on the second pin is the gray with the blue. And let's see. We got our network, boys. I got to see if there's any other connector that from where this network goes that's not connected but if not that's a problem right there okay guys i believe that hidden connector is actually probably the trailer brake module connector but while i was pulling off this junk because i think i'm just gonna rip the carpet and pull it back and follow it from there i found this on the floor which was somewhere under the seat look at this connector Look at those colors, boys. Yeah, that's not good. So um, I'm thinking this was the one. There's supposed to be a connector somewhere up here, I believe. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> good, good. I'm making some progress. 
guys, <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Can you believe this, man? It lines up with the network. The green is... <clears throat> The green and orange, you see that? There they are. And there's another one, the other network feed. Looks like one goes out and then comes back in. And it is there too in the bottom. You can't really see it, but it's there as well. <laughs> ah, man, can you believe that? <laughs> Man, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, guys. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, man, it's something wrong with you. Or you just a broken YouTube bot, man. Even the YouTube bots, I know you're going to have to hit the thumbs up, man. By the way, shout out to all my Arabic followers, man. Um, yeah, don't forget to leave a comment, man. Let me know what that those, those sweets are, man. Okay, guys, even though this lines up, I still suspect this is actually the trailer brake uh, connector. They probably just use the same connector and the same network pins. Uh, I believe this is probably, there's supposed to be uh, another camera module. There's one here, and I believe somewhere over here. So this is probably broken off from where they were working. So I still believe there's a, an issue, you know, um, further on. But I got to investigate. I can pull up the connectors and see the diagram, see what they look like to confirm if this is what I suspect up here and if that's the trailer brake connector, which I believe that is the trailer brake connector connector one of the reasons is if you look at how it's connected there the strap that looks uh it doesn't look like they really tempered with that much so maybe it's always been there so that's what gives gives me that idea you know uh, but i'm gonna keep digging okay here in the middle this is the network coming going to the rcm and I went ahead and tried the gray and blue and still nothing, obviously. So I'm going to try to trace back to see if I see any connection to where we can probably get to somewhere here. Let's we'll see what's going on. So basically, we're very close. It's from here going back, possibly under there. So we're going to have to see. I don't know if it's going to have to do a disconnection or not. We're going to find out, though. Guys, I decided to take this thing apart. And look at that. This is the problem right here, man. It wasn't cut off. It's just a jumper. It bridges the network through here. And it was pulled off. So I test it from here. This goes to the RCM. Okay. And then this is the network that goes out through the firewall here for the power steering, PCM, everything. And I have connection from the second network in here to there to the RCM. So then that's what made me open this and see, I thought it was cut, but it wasn't as you can see, it's a bridge and that's it. So we're gonna try to start it. All right, we're gonna hook the batteries up and we're gonna go ahead and uh, test. Apparently we get a No crank. So let's see what we got, guys. Starting system fault. All right, guys. So if you saw that, you now know we have uh, communication with uh, high speed CAN 2. Everything is up now. Uh, I'm going to go into detail about this and what I believe is going on here. Um, the cars are no crank right now, and uh, if I remember correctly, there's a BCM here on the floor, which is dusty, and this one looks shiny and pretty much new. So if I remember correctly, I believe they bought a brand new BCM. Someone misdiagnosed this as well as a bad BCM. So what we're going to do is connect the old BCM back and see if the car will start. We might have to reprogram the keys if they did something with the keys. I can't remember, but we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, I put in the uh, dusty BCM and it showed uh, the key wasn't recognized. So I'm going with the IM608 and added the keys. So let's see what happened. It did show two keys programmed, so let's see. Um, turn the ignition on. Ignition is on. The 
the key has been learned by the vehicle. Hmm. I'm going to tell her no. Let's see. I'm going to go back and do a uh, email scan. Number of keys program. Let's see. Two. Still says two. It could be these keys were the original ones and somehow it's uh, lost. Let's see. Let's try and see now if it will start. Key on. Crank and start, boys. Yeah, uh, this keys were most likely the original key for the BCM, but everything was out of sync since they did stuff like this. So that is a fix, boys. The truck is running right now. I don't know if you can see that but it is running, okay? So there's, of course, a lot of cleanup to do here in this thing. Uh, everything has to be put back together, but um, the vehicle has started, boys. I'm gonna go ahead and add the second key in, even though it's already there, but it's basically gonna resync it. You need to have Wi-Fi, and you also need to make sure you connect it to your interface uh, USB. Okay, yes. Yes. No. It's going to fail. It's going to say it failed. That's because um, the key has already been programmed before. But it's basically going to sync it up. Turn the ignition off. Oh, I already got it off. Turn the ignition on. This is the second key. There it is. Like I said, it says it's failed because it didn't do an additional key because uh, these two keys were the original keys for the vehicle. So I'm gonna tell it escape. And this key now should also start the vehicle. You did hear the lock cycle, so that's a good sign. Key on. And that's it, boys. Hey man, click that thumbs up button, guys, if you haven't already. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This is the best channel for this type of content. We have tools. We got things that you're going to need. Any project you're going to have to undertake on. Uh, check our website out, man. Uh, link in the description to um, join the members area. In the members areas, we have a lot of tools. I mean, trust me, this is the best thing you can do. It's a minimum donation, $25 to get into the members area. Trust me, guys. It's well worth it. Any kind of deal you're struggling with right there, we're going to bring you to the front of the congregation, especially with the GM stuff. I'm going to lay hands on you and give you the Holy Manuscript, script, boys. So like I said, like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Hey, it started, man. You see that? Hey, you got the audio electric God here, man. Never going to fail. <laughs> All right, guys, to explain to you this connector, um, and basically this was where the whole fault started. As you can see, this is basically just a jumper, okay? So it jumpers um, the um, RCM from the RCM and the connector that goes all the way uh, through the to engine bay. Hey, my friend, it's ready, man. Anyway, guys, so basically, here's what I believe. Uh, this van, probably, as it's uh, ambulance, it might be some kind of different factory option than normal. So, um, basically, the RCM has a its own separate line from the RCM. It, the line goes out here. In fact, here it is right here. This is the line coming from the RCM. It goes here, goes through the firewall, and then it connects through all the other high-speed CAN to uh, devices such as the engine computer, the power steering control module, and the ABS, okay? And it comes back and terminates at the steering column control module. So that is how this line works. So what I believe um, in the original documentation, it shows uh, somewhat this connector somewhere here in the middle. So depending on what van you have, if you run into this issue, your connector might actually be here. And this van, I believe this is actually, because of the amount of wires coming through it, I believe this is actually the trailer brake module connector. I believe, I'm not sure. This is also another part of it. I'm not too sure, right? Um, but anyway, um, if you have the module hooked up, it probably does that, that um, bridge internally. If you do not have that module, 
then you would have this external bridge like this, basically. That's what I believe. Um, so anyway, guys, click that thumbs up button, like and subscribe, like I said, and see you guys on the next one.